just then, the phone rings. Terrified, it was gonna be the scary man calling back. She answers it to hear a frantic police officer exclaiming, ma'am, the phone call's coming from inside the house. Boo! <laughs> Cause you yeah, know. We've all heard that one. They even made a ton of really crappy movies about it. Hey, the remake was crap. The original was great. Oh, Bex, you angered the horror nerd. See, classic. You can't top a classic. Exactly, it's exactly what I was trying to say. That's a very nice story, sweetheart. But it was a little fucking lame. Completely lame and not scary at all. Like you could do any better. Actually, I can't. Have any of you ever heard of the legend of Tanya? Oh. <laughs> Tanya? That's like the least scariest name Wait ever. Wait a second. There was that one Tanya who was the figure skater and she cracked the other one in the knee. She was scary. Scary looking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, laugh all you want, Tanya's no joke. Just ask all the people who died because they ignored her. Bitch, I told you that story about Tanya last week. I was gonna tell that shit tonight. The fuck? Just let her tell it. She's got a better storytelling voice anyway, right? So Bex, woo us all with your lore of Tanya. Well, legend has it that way back in the 90s, this girl was the secretary for the same company that we work at. Nobody knows why, but one day she just snapped. Some say it was because nobody was really that nice to her, and some people actually thought she was possessed, and some people thought she was truly evil. It all started with emails. She forwarded an email to all the coworkers and her contacts and told them that she wanted them to forward her message. What was her message? That's just it, nobody knows. It was just all gibberish. Some speculate that it was the true language of the devil. So, most of her coworkers didn't even believe her. They deleted her message, but there were some superstitious enough that they forwarded it. So the next day, only those few showed up for work. And when the police did an investigation on those who were missing, they found that they were all dead. Oh no, not just dead. Decimated, okay? Limbs torn off, skull smashed in, guts hollowed out. Fucking gruesome. Cool. Everybody knew that it was Tanya's fault. So they set out to search for her. And they found her floating in the river. So they plucked her out. And after they did an autopsy, they found out that she died days before the murders even happened. So how could she be responsible? Unless she was, well, a ghost. <laughs> Somebody, well, everybody thought it was foul play, but they weren't able to prove it. End of story, right? I fucking hope so. Like, Turns who's out next? that those that received the email from the coworkers that survived that rampage ended up murdered. And the cops did a little bit of investigating and found that the person who sent that email last didn't send it to anybody else, and that was that. The company moved on and you know, got bigger and bigger, and next thing you know, Tanya just became an urban legend. Wow. Great story. Who's next? Wait, I'm not dying. Of course you aren't. So, the HR department had their computers upgraded. What did they find in those computers? But a file containing Tanya's original email. So one of the temps thought it was a joke and thought it was funny, so he forwarded it to the rest of the temps. And, well, do you remember all those horrific murders that happened a couple of years ago? They were all friends of that HR temp. So it turns out that there was this horrible chain email going around that if you didn't forward it on to everybody in your contacts list, you ended up murdered. Yeah, murdered. So the reason I know all of this is because I actually got one of those emails. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's from Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Great joke, Bex. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without Dave. You are such a bitch for stealing my story. You're just mad because I beat you to the punch of the joke. The joke's on you guys because I still don't have a signal out here. <laughs> okay, Becky, we get it. That wasn't me. I had Dave send a text from my phone and an email. Um, wasn't me. <laughs> oh, so we all just got a random email from Tanya now? Fabulous. Not me. I, I still don't have it. I don't have any signal. 
Nothing. Well, children, I'd like to say this has been fun, but it hasn't. I'm gonna go shower the muck of the great outdoors off of me. Probably call a cute boy toy over for some actual grown-up time. You kids have fun with your scary stories. Ugh. Yeah, well, I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna share with everyone I got. <laughs> You're so gullible, Dave. You would. Yeah, whatever, dude. All right, after Bex told me about her joke, I looked in on this time to check. There's a ton of shit about her on the dark web, like actual shit. Dude, that's why I'm trying to forward it, but. Okay, as someone who actually works in the HR department, I have heard all kinds of shit about Tanya. In fact, there was a pretty recent one. Mr. Taylor was telling me the other day about an email that was sent to the St. Louis location and the HR manager that's there. A couple days later, they found the HR manager dead, stomach completely hollowed out. I remember reading about that on Twitter. Gross. Yeah, gross. So, like, what? Her stomach was completely guts out everything? <laughs> Fucking probably. But there was no sign of forced entry. All the doors and windows were locked. And they still have no suspects. It was Tanya! <laughs> <laughs> That's all you want. I've got an even more recent story about Tanya. Well, let's hear it. This one will chill you to your bone. Okay, so there was this girl who was home all alone. Oh my god, Becky, your story is so lame. Becky? Adam? Dave? Okay, none of you are funny, you know. Or, I guess, I'm just crazy. What? Tanya's coming to Oh, ha ha. Fuck off, Becky. Ah! The fuck is your problem? So she thinks the call is part of the prank. But once she gets back to the bathroom... Ah! Boom! The same message is written on the mirror. Not scary. Becky's version was way better. You seem to think everything Becky does is better. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah. What's your problem tonight, Jillian? Guys, Nothing. please shut up. It right? doesn't matter. Oh my god, guys, shut up. Can we just finish the story? I want to hear what happens next. For real, save your liver's quarrel for later and keep me out of it. Hello, it's story time. Okay, 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 okay. So, this girl's pretty freaked out by this mirror message, right? So she decides to call her boyfriend to see if he could come over a little bit earlier. I know, it's stupid, but... Can you please just come over now? I'm really shaken up. Yeah, but bring condoms. I'm all out here. As in I didn't bring any with me, Joseph. Yeah, we still need a condom for that jerk. Just get over here. Oh. So while she waits for her boyfriend to come, Tanya appears behind her, almost able to physically enter our world. Hey. Who's that? Did somebody order a pizza? I mean, I am hungry, so I ain't gonna bitch about it. No, that's Joe's car. Looks like Miranda followed through with her booty call. I thought they broke up. Well, now me and Joe are starting to see each other. Oh my God, bro. They break up like every other week. You thought you were gonna do something with him, Davy boy? I got bad news for you. It ain't gonna happen. Ugh, come on. I'm bored with the saga that is Miranda and Joe. Can we please move on? Yeah, Annie, finish your story. Yeah, please. Anything to keep from thinking what the hell they're doing out okay. there. Okay. Okay. So 
So after a quickie with her boyfriend, she's laying in bed with him, but she just can't help but feel that she is being watched by someone. Becky? Is this another joke? You didn't forward my message. As Tanya slowly moves towards the bed, the girl panics and grabs her phone from the nightstand. Tanya inches closer and closer as the girl scrambles to pull up the email. In a panic, she sends it to the first person oh she could think oh God. of. Okay, there. Now I sent it to him. I followed the rules. Her boyfriend. And then she broke into the most evil smile before disappearing into nothingness. Having seen her own death in Tanya's eyes, the girl collapses to the floor, passing out from fright. Whoa, that was an awesome story, Annie. Wait, so Tanya let her live because she finally sent the message? Well, rules are rules, I guess. Sounds like some horror story that some boomer wrote because they were angry their kids didn't pay any attention to their email forwards. Oh my god, totally. So, did the boyfriend die then? Well, as the story goes, Miranda? Babe? What time is it? Did you send something to my work email? It's corrupted. You'll have to resend it. for any sexy role-play games. <laughs> no means no, but... Oh shit, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Get him, Tanya! <laughs> Woo! Annie with the special effects, bro! Did you hide some kind of voice recorder out in the woods? Oh. Uh, I had nothing to do with those screams, though I appreciate the timing. Please, it's probably just Joe and Miranda getting a little too overstimulated. Hey, Jillian. Why don't you and me go up to our room and get a little overstimulated? Stimulate yourself. Well, folks. This is the time of the night where I gotta go upstairs and figure out why it is she's mad at me. But the makeup sex is gonna make it all worthwhile. You're a pig. Yeah. Hey, oink oink, baby. Oh. Hey, what's your problem? I know you're cheating on me with Becky. No, no I did not. Don't you lie to me. Miranda saw you both going at it in the bathroom at work. Fine. But it was just that one time. I was stressed out. You were at home sick. She was just helping me calm my nerves. Fuck off, asshole. <laughs> that does not sound like a happy sex scream. No. No, it does not. Come on, Chip. You get behind me. Yo, Dave, what's wrong? Still can't get a signal, so it means email still isn't forwarded. Ooh, Tanya's coming to get you. <laughs> Don't worry, Dave. I didn't forward any stupid email either. Well, actually, it wasn't my email. I work in HR, remember? I was able to access the original file. That's what I sent to you all. Wait, seriously? You're messing with curses and shit? <laughs> dude, what, what the hell's wrong with you? Dave, chill out, dude. It's just a story. Yeah, whatever. Well, I'm gonna find a signal, guys, and then I'll chill out. 
he is such a loser. I can't believe how gullible he is. Guess all those horror movies finally routed his brain. Truth is stranger than fiction. Okay. But Tanya isn't fiction. Yeah, sure. So convince me why you think all this Tanya bullshit's real. Cause she's behind you. Man, you really do have this whole thing planned out, didn't you? What is that, Miranda or Jill back there play dress up for you? Miranda and Jill are in the house. And yeah, I did have some big plans for tonight. But then you tried to come in and steal my story. What the fuck? Tanya's coming to get you. <laughs> Guess you should have played by the rules. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Fuck whatever this is, I'm out of here. You have never played by the rules, Becky. You were supposed to be our friend! Who's you, psycho? You hurt Jill by sleeping with Adam! You constantly sludged in Miranda and made her feel bad! And me? You don't think I've seen all the lies that you've submitted about me at work? You are gunning for my job and I'm fucking tired of it! Look, I'm sorry. Please just let me leave! Oh no! You really fucked up this time with Tanya. You know what? You didn't forward the fucking email either. Sure I did. I sent it to all of you. Fuck this. <laughs> didn't forward my message. <laughs> Two down. Two to go. Finally, okay. <laughs> All right, open up here. Annie? Bex, is that you? Look, I, I got a signal. Fuck. Uh, I don't like that. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Shit. Out here, lost in the woods, my friends mess between the veil of the living and the dead. I'm not gonna be alone out here. Seen this movie? <sighs> Alone in the woods. Loser always gets. <sighs> Fuck this. <sighs> Shit. How does someone lose a whole house? Hello? strong enough to do it. It was Tanya. I know it was. No signal. Shit. Nothing. You guys got anything? I had full bars outside, but only one in here. My phone broke when Joe was killed. Okay. Well, let's just go outside. We'll use Jill's phone. 
We'll meet up with Dave, sit with the girls, and we can wait until we see the safety of those flashing red and blue lights. Wait, how exactly are the cops going to save us from a ghost? Well, really, how are they going to save you guys from a ghost? Because I already forwarded the email. He had it coming anyways. Joe was such a piece of shit. And now I will never have to think about him again. And, uh, are you okay? <laughs> I've never been better. Tonight's a cleansing, guys. Getting rid of everything that's ever hurt us. Everything that's ever hindered us. Making room for something better. Something new. Us! Annie. Shit! You guys planned this together, didn't you? Shit! Get out of here! Go! Oh. You don't think Miranda actually killed Joe, do you? I don't know what to think. Let's just go to the others. Come on. Okay. Oh, good. You decided to come back and join the party. Jill, call the cops. Becky and Dave didn't follow the rules, so Tanya had to take care of them. Jill, call the cops, right? But Adam. You didn't follow the rules. Tanya's gonna get you. <laughs> you bitches. Get them. Get back. Get back. Get the. Get the <laughs> You're all crazy bitches. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Look at the <laughs> Stay the fuck back! Fuck! Oh my god. Signal! I've got bars down here! Hello? Are you coming to help? Who is this? Okay, bitch. You wanna play? I've got you now. Tanya, get your ass back now. Oh, fuck. Send. Send. Send it. I'm trying to send an email. Send. 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 Fucking email. Send. See, I said it. Be gone, demon. Those crazy bitches. I gotta find another way out of here. Game. You're all going to fucking prison for the rest of your sick lives. <laughs> oh, poor Adam. He thinks he's so smart. Why are you doing this? I loved you. And you showed it by sleeping with Cora, Laurel, Ashley. And those are just the ones I know about. But I never even knew them, so it was easy to pretend like they weren't real. But Becky? She was supposed to be a friend. I just couldn't let that one go. Then break up with me, like a normal human. But you're always telling me how I need to think bigger and with more creativity if I want to get anywhere in life. I'd say this is a pretty creative way to break up. Well, your little ghost plan failed. 
So now what are you gonna do? Just kill me yourself? <laughs> oh, look at you. You think you really know more about Tanya than we do? She hasn't failed dipshit. Uh, actually, she did. Because she's not gonna kill anyone anymore. I forwarded the email to a dead email address from work. <laughs> Smart thinking. You know, the thing is, oh, though, as an HR rep, okay, I have access to all of the company's emails, including the ones that are no longer in use. See, I thought somebody might come up with the idea to try to send Tanya on here. So I set up all the dead email accounts to auto-forward any message back to its original sender. What's wrong, babe? Did you get a new message? Oh, I really did love you. Oh, poor Adam. <laughs> Thinks he's so smart. <laughs> Maybe. <sick>. Uh, <laughs>